All right, y'all, what's up? I'm here at Cam's house, Cam Elevated Lawnscapes. Y'all know him. We started the garden for the first time this year. Although we're not here to necessarily talk garden or lawn specifically, we're gonna talk about a topic called microclimates. And I know you've heard of microclimates, and if you haven't heard of microclimates, this is the video for you. Stay tuned. Without further ado, let's get it. Cam, y'all look good, man. Hey, man, I, I appreciate it, man. We, uh, we're in a good spot. This is probably the best the front yard has ever looked. And um, I don't know, man. I'm good with it. That backyard look better than me. Oh, definitely hands down the backyard, hands and, down. And I think it's kind of the reason why uh, what we're about to discuss today is the microclimate, right? Yep. Like yep. at first glance, I look at your front yard and it looks beautiful, not gonna lie but I can kind of see that it probably gets way more sun than your back. Definitely, definitely. Okay. So what you're looking at is right now, front yard, it's a little cloudy right now. Sun's over there behind the cloud, but it actually gets a full sun, almost completely full sun yeah. all day long. And as you can see, we're gonna walk through and there's another section of the backyard that gets the same thing. But that's a microclimate because it's only that one section of the backyard. So now we're talking two different climates. Right. Front yard, full sun. Section of the backyard, full sun. Right. The rest of the backyard, heavily shaded. Right. Mature trees, completely different microclimate. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can dig it. It's kind of just like in my house, I got the front yard that's full sun. The backyard during this time of the year, it catches a lot of morning sun, but in about a month or so, that's gonna shift yeah. all the way to the front. In my front, I have to keep water on it. I literally absolutely yep. have to keep water yep. on it. But the backyard, man, it's good. shaded all That's day. Good. Y'all see the single doubles? <laughs> you see those single doubles? <laughs> hey, Cam did that right there. Right. So we in the uh, this is the shade, right? This this is the this, this is the shade. And this uh, this catches what? A few hours of sun? Yep. Like direct sun? Yep. So we may end up with four or five hours of direct sun um, in this area back here that's heavily shaded. Okay. Um, and you'll you'll be able to see the shade line. Like the sun literally comes up, comes over here. Right. And then comes back. And then from that point of the day, it's all shade from here back. Okay. So that's a completely different microclimate than what we're dealing with in the front yard. Right. Front yard full sun, mm -hmm. heavy shade back here. Right. So how does that change things for you? I imagine you're not going to water the same way back here that you would up front, right? Nope. Because I know I don't, because that's what we're prone for. Fungus. There we diseases, go. Diseases. All of that. So be mindful of it, I guess, at the yeah. very least. Yeah. So and, and, and too, like if you've got an area that's heavily shaded, mm -hmm. um, your water is one thing. So mm -hmm. especially when you're watering, you want to have as much airflow as possible like to make sure that that lawn is drying out and it has a chance to dry out at the surface before you actually apply your next water. Right. High humidity, high temperatures, it's gonna hold moisture right at that surface level. Exactly. Not in the ground. Not in the ground. It, but right there in that, that surface level, prone for disease. Right. And I was wiped out last year. By Pythium, right? Pythium. Gross. Pythium. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> so I have lowered my height of cut. That's the other thing. I was about to ask this you. A little nugget. This right. Is, this is we talking microclimate, but here's another nugget. Lower my height of cut. Okay. Increasing airflow. Right. Make sure that I'm getting more air circulation to keep that surface le level heavily shaded. No sun to help dry it out. Exactly. That's what we're dealing with. So on the flip of that, though, in the front, you do what? You I raise the height of cut. Height of cut is higher. So, so I do the same. Thing. Jack the high, the more up, put a thing on stilts as high as it right. can go. <laughs> <To those stilts. laughs> okay, okay, I can dig it. So you got that in the front yard, full sun, yeah. higher, higher height of cut, yeah. right? Yeah. And then we got to put more water on it. Yeah. But in the backyard, you switch it up. Switch you just up. literally flip it. You don't need as much moisture, yeah. but you cut it a little lower to increase the airflow. Yeah. And if you're watching this in July and August and you're trying to figure out how to fix your lawn overnight, listen, don't do, don't do it. You can take a fighter, right? I gave you the analogy last year, ding, ding, right? <laughs> Where you can train up to the fight, but here's the problem. Once you get to the fight and your, and your fighter comes back to the corner and they yep. stressed and they're about to tap out and you don't want to throw in the towel, you rather shoot them up with some drilling and push yep. them out there to go fight. 
you can cause more damage on that fighter on the long term than you would if you just go ahead and throw in the towel, bow out nice and peacefully, and then train again for the next fight or for the next season in this case. Yep. So don't push it too much. And, and that's the thing. Like, if, if you are watching in June July and you are in that situation, right. let it ride. Just let it ride, man. Just let it ride because yeah. the thing is, turf is more resilient than we think it is. Of course. As soon as the temperatures go down, more just come comes back right and we get into the fall right aeration overseeding right you start getting that good moisture back in the soil you could go things will turn around it's time look. to hit the gym yeah it's time to get <laughs> in the gym when we're talking cool season lawns i mean turf i had a good time hey man this was good man <laughs> feeding off of you getting your tips i find out that we do pretty much the same thing same cultural practices yeah. don't overthink this this is just food for thought. Like I said, look, if you're already in the middle of the summer, apply this stuff next season. But if you're catching this before summer, think about it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and like I said, it, it's simple. I mean, put some thought in it. That, that, that's the thing about it. A lot of times we don't even think about this. No. Nah. We're just out there. It's like, why is this one area of my lawn? Um, so what we want to do is, just like Turf said, give y'all food for thought and hey, Hopefully it works out for the best. As he said, it'll buff all out. <laughs> <laughs> it'll buff out. That's right. Trust the process. Trust the process. All, all right, right y'all. As I always say, if y'all striving to have those immaculate lawns mm. or gardens, mm. we work. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>